Welcome to your April 2024 edition of What is New in Asana. Today I'm going to walk you through three new cool updates that I think are going to make your workflow way easier. A lot of the updates that we are seeing have been asked for for a long time and I'm excited to show them to you today. The first one I'm going to review is the new ID type custom field. Now the use case here is any time we are tracking projects or if we're in manufacturing or you know have to create you know job numbers at mass you know the request was often how do I add those job numbers as a unique identifier to each of my tasks and sometimes it could be hundreds or thousands of tasks and to do it manually was a pain and so now you can actually do it through automated means and so in this case we have our ditto marketing requests project I'm gonna go create a new custom field and all it's asking you to do here is just create what that identifier would look like or what that prefix would look like so in this case I'm just gonna take the first letters from our project so DMR in this case and what it will do is will add a numerical value to the end of each project that comes in after that point. Perfect. So it's actually added the DMR here. You can see uh, it's added the suffix of three um, to this task. So what's nice is you can now arrange this so we can see the task number or the job number and that can be really whatever we want it to be. And so this also works when you're simply creating new tasks. So this could be a new task and it's going to show up as DMR6 because there are some other tasks I've been working on but this was the sixth one. If I add another task right here it'll show up as DMR7 and then of course we can look at our different jobs and we can now search by these different job numbers as well. So that's uh, an exciting update. The next one I'm gonna show you is another custom field update. And so let's go up to our custom field and it's not the actual field itself that's new. These fields have been around, but I'm gonna show you what you can now do with the date custom fields. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a publish date in addition to our due date that we already have. I'm gonna add a publish date, then I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna add another approve by date like so and we're going to create that field so now for this version of the task here i'm going to actually just add in some of that information so our publish date in this case is going to be the end of the month and we're going to need to approve this at least a week out and we can say that our due date is either april 30th or if we want to have everything wrapped up and due by the end of the week so it would follow the approval but it would also be before the publish date so now we can have this type of view right here and that's great but we can now take it a step further so now for the first time we can add rules to the new date custom field so when i go customize i'm going to then add a rule here i'm going to go in and it's just going to be a simple rule i'm going to switch over to uh, the classic builder for this example so the trigger will be really simple so we're going to go down and now you can see that you can see the date custom field available here for you so i'm going to say when the publish date is changed maybe we can assign to a new person so and then maybe we can add a comment maybe the publish date wasn't supposed to be changed and so say the publish date was changed please check notes for the reason why and then as you know we can always add a subtask that would be created for the person who triggers this change so we're going to say the person the rule triggerer and we can mention them rule triggerer please provide a reason for the publish date change in the comments right so as we're thinking about communication this is something we can do to make sure everyone is on the same page right and so that we can create that rule what i would love to see and i'm sure asana is getting there as we as we make these small changes is things like hey if the approved by date is overdue we need to move this to urgent and maybe add in some collaborators or assign to a new person right as the publish date is you know three days out you know, maybe there are some actions that can um, come from that where we have to double check things or we have to, you know, present a type of report on this status. And so uh, I'm sure that will be coming in the very near future. But for now, really exciting that we can now add in these different published dates and add in some basic automations. The next thing I'm going to show you are is one new way to sort your different projects in portfolios. So if we go to the list view here we can see our our projects and we know we can sort them by status we know we can sort them by due date as well we know we can also sort them 
by priority. This is nothing new, right? And so for the first time, what's really nice is we can sort by connected goals. And so if you're not familiar with goals and how they work, I have a few videos on goals. You can go check one of those out. But if we did go to the goal module really quickly, I'll show you what I did. And so in this case, I added a related work. I added this ditto marketing request project as a related work. So as we move through the different stages here, and we can also, you know, add a sub goal that is a connected project or a connected task as well. This would then this goal, sorry, would then show up in the overview section. And so if we go back to our portfolio, again, we go to our list, we can now sort by connected goals to see which projects in our org fall under which goal. So we can see exactly the work that's impacting our goals and moving our teams and organizations forward. So that's a really exciting update. As a proud Asana partner, Surface specializes in building projects and portfolios to streamline and automate marketing processes. If you're a marketing manager, VP or director, and you're looking to transition your team to Asana, and you're overwhelmed by the prospect of moving all of your marketing projects and workflows to the new platform, don't sweat it. At Surface, we handle everything from A to Z, from mapping all of your processes to the data migration and even training your team to ensure alignment and efficient use of the tool. So if you're considering moving to Asana, click the link below and book a call with us to learn more. And the last update I'm going to show you is one to AI. And I will say that you need to have at least the enterprise plan to gain access to this feature. And that is the smart status update. So within any of our projects, let's go back to our marketing portfolio. We're going to go to this one because I know I was just using this project here. And so now we can set the status. We're going to go to on track as an example, and I'm actually in the wrong project. So I'm going to switch over to another uh, instance here for a second. Here we go, where we actually have this feature enabled. And so with our, our use case here, we can see some various onboarding projects. Now I want to be able to go in and set a status of this entire portfolio. Mind you, we can also do this at the project level, but there's a bit more information that we can that we can glean from the portfolio level. So again, you need to have enterprise to see this, but you have the option to draft with AI. And as you can see, we are on track. It's already pulled in key information. It's given us um, our blockers, which in this case, there are none. It's given us our upcoming milestones and then our next steps and action items. We can then choose to edit this draft to revise some of the copy or pull in our high level highlights, next steps and different metrics from our projects. And now when we post this, we've just saved ourselves so much time in having to go and track down all this information because Asana, the AI feature, is now going through and combing all of the information within the projects, all of the comments, all the dates that are being changed, all the statuses that are being updated, and it's now giving us everything in this format. And so I hope you like this video. If you got something from this and you're excited about any of these features, let me know which ones you're most excited about. Please don't forget to rate and subscribe. Rate and subscribe. You don't rate on YouTube. Maybe you can give me a rating in the comments, but if you can subscribe to this channel and make sure you press the notification button so you never miss an update. Thanks as always for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.